today, I'm going to be trying to look for some salamanders as it's getting a little bit colder. But yeah, we're going to try to look for salamanders today. I don't know why I didn't decide to flip clip that. Didn't expect to already find a marbled salamander this pretty, although I guess it is around that time of year. This is exactly what I was hoping to see today. Really, really, really pretty salamanders. Oh, I love these. Yeah, these guys are really cool. Marbled salamanders are a species in the uh, mole salamander genus. Uh, they're really pretty, one of my favorite. They color up like this during the uh, mating season. I have found a large female with eggs under logs around here before. All right, we've taken up enough of this dude's time, so we're gonna help him find out where his log is and I guess board and let him go back up under there. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can see any more of this, guys. Of course, dude. The second I turn off the camera, we flip our next marble salamander and an airmouth toad. All right, let's grab these two. I love when they curl their tails like that guy was doing there for a second. Let's see, make sure there's not anybody else under here that. Oh, and that. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if you can see that curve down there, but that's either an amphiuma or a siren. Oh wow, oh wow. Okay, so we came back over here. I found another marbled salamander under that log. So I pulled out that little amphiuma in there. Don't haven't even gotten the chance to look if it's two-toed or three-toed right now. It's looking three-toed. Then we've got this narrowmouth toad, these two marbled salamanders. Let's look under here so I can prove to you I didn't just re-pick up the third one. There's the third one. So let's uh let's Let's organize this a bit, huh? Yeah, so those are the ones that were all under that log over there, and we uh, will reorganize this in a second. I think I'm just going to slip all three of these guys, the toad and the two big salamanders, under this board right here temporarily while I deal with this guy. Take some pictures of him, and I'll probably actually release him into the pond over there. Yeah, this is a... Let's look at your back legs, Hal. Three-toed amphiuma. Little guy. Um, typically I don't hold him like this. He's kind of in that mucus cocoon state, so I'm fine with it, but uh, they have a nasty, nasty, nasty bite. Um, but yeah, big aquatic salamanders, they get upwards of four feet long. We eat crawfish. When these vernal pools drive up that they live in, they kind of go under there, and they, uh, they form these cocoons, these mucus cocoons around themselves. Crazy. All right, I will check back in with you guys later. Yeah, so I don't actually think I'm even going to get any pictures of this guy. All right, so after some moments of consideration and trying to find that guy's hole not being able to, decided I'm just going to bring him over to the nearest ditch and we'll uh, release him in a puddle or a wet area. Yeah, this is the lowest I've ever seen the water around here. And he will do just fine. There he goes. Like he was never there. I'm going to start out by photographing the narrowmouth toad because this guy's really pretty, but these guys are extremely common. If we ever really want to do something super educational about them, we'll focus them later. And then I'm going to reclaim the other marbled salamander from under this board, pair him with those two and take some photos and some videos and brag to Davis. Then uh, we'll set that guy back, take some more individual photos of those guys. And then we're gonna keep looking because there's a few other things I think I can flip in this area that might have more marbled salamanders under them. I know there's four or five individuals I found around here in this area specifically. And then there's another area that I might go to that should have more. All right, we're just going to put this vlog back the way that it was. Where those hay crests on the side. And we'll let the uh, creatures crawl back into. Yeah. Whew. All right, so one of these is from under this log there. And I remember which one he is based off of his pattern, unique pattern. And the other two are uh, from over there. And I'm pretty sure I recognize their patterns also. Alright, after some terrible times, the other one's down there now because uh, it's very hard to photograph three very unruly opacums while uh, holding a flashlight in your mouth and a camera in your hand. By the way, it's not nighttime yet, but I have to use my flashlight because, you know, ISO and all. But uh, yeah, we're going to get a picture of these two together and individually. I'm just going to slip them back under that log like we did with that frog there. Picture needs have been fulfilled. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys back under their logs. And I could be wrong, we'll check later. Since one is male and one is female, we'll put them if, if they're the ones I think. I mean, again, I could be completely wrong, but the ones I found here last year, one was male and one was female. And so we're gonna put them back on opposite ends of the logs. They might be courting each other, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, um, and we're gonna keep on looking around this area, see if we can find any more. The fourth will pick them under this giant hunk of bricks that I couldn't film, uh, but yeah, we're gonna put this we gonna grab him and then we're gonna put this back down and try to get him under there again. Crazy, but I'm pretty sure I recognize this guy too. All right, 
time. Put you back under there. All right, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. If I'm not mistaken, then those are in fact the ones I recognize. Those are the four that I'm familiar with being here. That being said, there could always be more and I'd be super happy to see them. So we're gonna keep looking, but I think I'm about to change locations a little bit that way to a place I've never really found marbled salamanders, but it is a dried vernal pool and we're gonna see what we can find in it. Uh, and then we might switch locations entirely. There might be a place that I wanna check out that I've not really been to around this time before, especially not this time of year. So. We'll see what happens, but I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Gosh, this thing moved further into the swamp. Excellent. Oh, this is a big... Yeah, I don't know what this is, but it's plastic and it holds moisture under it really well, and usually there's about half a million green frogs. I wonder what's going to be under it today. <clears throat> also, if there's something crazy, I will drop you guys. I'm really sorry. Hope you don't mind. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, wow, that is a lot of green frogs, jeez. We're gonna try to nab one or two of those because uh, I've never done a segment on the channel, at least not a good one of those before. But in my hand here we have two greenhouse frogs. They are not native to Louisiana. They are what's labeled as an introduced species, uh, but they're not considered to do any sort of real damage as of yet, which is why they're introduced. I'm gonna grab some photos and release them under there, but yeah. I'm going to let that guy back under there, and just out of curiosity. Wow, they're all back. What? When did that, when did that, when did that happen? Hello. Um, sir, where did you come from? That's new. That wasn't there, like, five seconds ago. I think that's opacum number five? What? When, when did you get there? I recognize this one's pattern, so, uh... I guess this is a new individual, but that's peculiar because that was not there like five seconds ago. We'll lift this back up just for the uh, fun of the greenhouse frogs, but actually, no. We're just gonna, this is probably, I'm thinking this is a female based off of the size of her belly there and her more brownish coloration, but uh, I mean, who can really say for certain? We're just gonna let her slip back under there and uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep on looking for stuff. Wow, I would never think that there would be a day where I would find five marbled salamanders, no dwarfs, and no plethodons at all. But I guess that was my first real successful flip clip. Anyways, uh, we're gonna continue around. I think I'm gonna flip like a few more logs and stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll see some more variety, although I won't complain about getting more marbled salamanders. And yeah. Hey guys, so uh, I might head to a different location tonight, um, but we're gonna go ahead and cap it here. Found a lot of cool things today, five marbled salamanders, and not much else, which is odd. I, I'm not used to that sentence, but uh, I will never complain about five marbled salamanders. We're gonna cap it here, found a lot of cool stuff today. I'll see you guys in the next one, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you real soon.